yes, you read the title correctly. I am drawing 100 characters from Animal Crossing New Horizons. Just to be clear, I am drawing all the characters that they added to the game, or the universe I should say, when they bought out New Horizons. So I know I'm probably missing a few characters that have been added since then, so maybe that will be another opportunity to give this another whirl, but at the moment I'm just drawing all the ones that were added to the universe for New Horizons, and yeah, that's the game where I fell in love with Animal Crossing, so I have a really close affinity to it. I remember when it first came out and I was playing it during covid times and lockdown and it really gave me such a morale boost and it felt like such a warm and cozy game and something to meet friends over online and family and i don't know it was always such a nice sweet game to me and it always brought me comfort so i decided that i wanted to do a little homage to it by drawing all the characters that were added to the game and there were about a hundred characters and I thought yeah this is gonna be fun this is gonna be a project that's just gonna blow all the other projects out of the park and it's just gonna be me sitting here doodling these characters basically because that's kind of what it is they're not really too much detail they're just fun little quirky images of these characters but no it took me about two days two solid days of drawing to finish these characters I penciled them all out, so I drew every single character after dividing the page up into a hundred different sections. They're all about three centimetres tall by two centimetres wide, so it's a big piece of paper and then I got started and uh, I realised the pain that I had put on myself. So when I started this I thought, yeah, I want to put this in a video for Wednesday and uh, then I realised that that was quite a short deadline and I had to push through the pain a little bit but I still really enjoyed the process of this it was really fun to just like doodle away and have fun with all these characters and I really appreciate all the character design of these little guys some of them I found cuter than others but I think that's how it always goes with Animal Crossing I think everyone has a particular favorite of which character they like the most I definitely recognised a few characters on here that were on my island and I was like, oh, so they're like the new characters compared to the old because I tried to get into Animal Crossing a while ago and I could never get into it. I didn't understand what you were supposed to do with it. Like I tried to get into it a couple of times and I didn't really get it. I didn't get like how you had to wait a day and things happened daily, I thought, because I'm used to just getting on a game and spending hours on it. Whereas Animal Crossing is like, each day you get an item from the shop or a new recipe to make an item and you slowly build up the island that you, you're on and you develop the town or whatever it may be for each game and you slowly pay off your debt <laughs> to Tom Nook, the uh, debt lord. And uh, yeah, I just didn't get that um, in the beginning but then when I played New Horizons, I totally got it. It was so much fun collecting each item each day. It was like a thing after work that I used to do to relax, you just play for an hour or so. I used to do the thing where you go to the islands and you get the tarantulas and you sell them for loads of money. I used to spam doing that even though I think now it's been like taken out of the game because people were doing, you know, taking advantage of that little cheat kind of. I used to do time travelling and everyone was always like, why are you doing time travelling? And I was like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> It was fun and uh, yeah, I'm definitely playing the new DLC right now with the Happy Home stuff and doing all the islands up. I think my favourite thing about this most recent DLC was running into Lionel and him liking to have a place with lots of toilets. So that was a really fun little room to make. If you guys have not <laughs> played Animal Crossing and you have no idea what I'm talking about, Basically, with the new DLC, you are tasked with decorating holiday homes for these little characters. And each character has its own sort of personality and what they want in the, in the rooms. And you have to build them up per character. And it's really fun and cute and relaxing. And it's just a steady game where you play each day and certain tasks take up time each day. And then you're done and there's nothing else to do. So you have to put the game down. So it's just like building upon what you've done each day is really like such a nice approach to a game. It's kind of grindy. It can be quite grindy, but it's super fun. And uh, yeah, 
I remember at one point putting the game down and not picking it up for months and then coming back and the islanders on my island being like where have you been I haven't seen you and I just felt so guilty even though they are not real they're just characters I was like I'm sorry I got tired of not having anything new in the game but I know some friends who've just been playing this game non-stop since it came out which I find really difficult to believe because I thought like I was like oh my god I've got a lot of hours on this game and then other people are like yeah I've got 300 and I was like okay I haven't got quite that many so there's some hardcore Animal Crossing fans out there and I would like before speaking to them I would have said yeah I'm pretty hardcore this game and then I speak to other people and I'm like okay I am I'm not that hardcore I wish I was um, but yeah, I am really into the new DLC, so I wanted to draw these characters because it just seemed like a really fun thing to do and spread them out on this little sheet. If I didn't say at the beginning of the video, this will be this month's Patreon rewards, so stick around and see how it will turn out. Maybe check out my Patreon down below if you would like to receive this print as a reward for this month. It'll be really cool. I think I'm going to print them on a bigger size than usual because usually I do like a postcard size so I'm thinking I will scale that up a little bit. I was wondering if I should go back in and add like little flowers and details to this in between the characters. I think that would be quite a fun thing to do. I also would like to add the title to the top like Animal Crossing New Horizons and I think I might do that separately because I think I just ran out of time but I think that would work really nicely especially for a print and then people could just hang it up and it would all be self-explanatory and yeah so doing these details on these tiny little characters was quite difficult if you look closely at some of them they do seem a little bit off but I think because they all sit together nicely as a group I think they kind of boost each other up to what they're supposed to be and I think they work really well together I really like the colors I used my Artex alcohol markers for this and uh, yeah they're still sticking around still doing really good so I'm pleased that I have those and uh, I used a what did I use a Zig Mangaka flexible fine liner from Kurataki um, you can buy these online it's a water-based pigment and smudge proof but I think the paper I used was quite um, non-absorbent non so what I was doing was using the alcohol markers over top of the pencil after I rubbed the pencil off slightly but I could still see the marks a little bit then used the colours and then went over with the pen and then it was done. This is the final look of all the Animal Crossing characters from New Horizons, um, except for now the DLC. So I probably have to go back in and draw those again eventually, but I really like this. I really had a great time, even though it took hours. Like I said, this is going to be a Patreon print for this month, so if you would like to get your hands on this print, then um, please take a look down below at my Patreon in the box down there and it would be highly appreciated. I'd like to thank my patrons again for their support, you guys are awesome and I hope to see everybody next time. Please give me a thumbs up because it really helps with algorithm stuff and uh, yeah, thanks for watching anyway if you made it this far. Goodbye!